Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The inherent battle between the liberal arts schools and the agricultural schools. Virginia and Virginia Tech square off for bragging rights in the battle for the Commonwealth Cup. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Virginia tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He'll take it from the two. And he just got drilled. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career. And for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. time throws incomplete sure it's disappointing but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching from their own 32 yard line second down pass incomplete trying to get it to his receiver He fires right side. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And he can't hang on to the ball. They'll bring him down to the 37-yard line. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me, but the first job of a return man is to catch the ball. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. the middle for a nice game. Jones picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it six and six. From their own 41-yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. Scrambling around. Four yards there on the scramble. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 46. That'll bring up third and six. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 
Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating the nerves on the quarterback. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Great punt there to pin them deep inside their own territory. Yeah, a lot of times those punts will hop right into the end zone, but this time it didn't go anywhere. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Makes it to the 11. That one got him out of some danger. The offense caught a break there. Great run by this guy to get him out of the face of their own end zone. It's first and ten. Ball on the 11. Tackled for a loss. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. To about the 10. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. They line up at the 10. Third down. First down grab by the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 29. And they pick up the first down with a pass to the tight end. It's easy to forget about the tight end sometimes coming off the line. But you always have to watch this guy because he's certainly capable of making big plays. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Around the 42 yard line. First down. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Mike 34. Mike 34. Down. Got some open field. He's at the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. They bring him down, but not before he gets a glimpse of the end zone. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. First down. First and goal here inside the five-yard line. A short yardage defense here. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's taken down at the one. So at the end of one, this one's scoreless. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. up in the pocket. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. This should be an easy field goal. Virginia Tech is looking to go up by three. 
Kicks away, and it's good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Jayhawks and Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. One word to describe this rivalry. Nasty. Patrick's a determined runner and one that makes the most of every opportunity. He takes this opportunity to get it into the end zone. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Williams has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 33. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Plus, if you're able to pick up the first down with the running game. From their own 49-yard line. First down. He rifles it to the left. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. But they knock him out before he can get back to the original line of scrimmage. That'll make it third and 13. Third down again. it deep and down around the six yard line so after the big pass play we have a first and goal Get him in the backfield for a loss. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got it, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, Cavaliers! Call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he adds the extra point. Let's check in Davis in the studio. Kansas will try to rock and chalk out behind the Wildcat in a Sunflower Showdown. Let's take a look at this one again. The Jayhawks strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. The Jayhawks are on top, 14-7. 
7-3 in this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. the stop the 40. That makes it first and 10. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. Wants to go long and does. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves them with a first and goal. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And a quick throw, and he's taken down at about the five-yard line. That makes his third and goal. So here it is, crucial third down as they try to take the lead. And a man, open touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT, a six-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front, the offensive line, giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw? And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fire, fields at the goal line. Tackle made at the 32. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. You know, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Down. Get back. Motion, motion, motion. Back. Back, 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 back. Pass out to the tight end, and he's got the first down. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. Not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down around the 45-yard line. Virginia will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From the 45-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. Lost of four yards on the play. Easy, easy. 
Short over the middle. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Time for an update from the studio. Reese Mustangs entered today's game ranked 20th knowing they had to win to stay in the top 25. And for SMU, they get into the end zone through the air. The Mustangs are on top, 7-0. We're tied at 10 in this one. We played a half of football and a 10-10 tie in this game. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I love this first half. Two defenses that will flat stick their face in the fan. I mean, there was some hitting going on out there. Good, clean, tough football in the first half. Much like you experienced David, there was almost a, a magic number for your teams at Georgia. If, if you got to a, a certain number of points, the game was over. Yeah, when we when we, I was there for my four years, when our team scored over 17 points, we, we were undefeated. So when you have a great defense, first of all, you have high expectations. You expect to come in and shut the opponent out. It, and the offense on the other side, you know what you got, too. You don't have to go out there and try to fling it around the yard and score 30 points a game. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on yourself. You just execute the plays that are in front of you and realize that punts aren't going to kill you. I got a dominant side of the football. Play towards that strength. Don't shoot myself on the foot on the other side of the football. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Very close game now as we start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He's scrambling. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 32. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he hits him hard at the 39. Play. That brings him second and five. 
Second and five. Ball on the 44. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Snags that one, and down he goes around the 17-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Toss across the middle. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine yard gain. That brings up second and nine. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And he converts the extra point. Let's the Reese now for a studio update. The Jayhawks and Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Kansas State, they're sleepwalking through this thing. If they don't turn it around, they're going to get into a world of trouble. Holloway's ability to get open is quite evident. He's already put more than 100 yards on the board. Kansas leads it 21-14. In other games, time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. SMU in front, 21 to 7. Touchdown difference, Reese, 17 to 10 here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. And he's tackled at the 21 yard line. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays. And it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires quickly to the fullback. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He 
gets out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. That quickly incomplete. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 37. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. Couldn't hold it. Williams is the putter. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. From their own 35-yard line, first down, Virginia is up seven. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Man left, man left. Pull down, pull down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. They bring him down in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. Third and 12. Third and 12. Ball on the 32 yard line. That's three down and one to go. Virginia's lead is a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. His team showed up. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. They bring him down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. To the sack, it's now fourth and long. Wesley is back to receive. He dropped it. Oh, what a hit. Well, that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for a return man is of the utmost importance. And I'll tell you, in a close game like this, you just can't do stuff like that. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They'll bring him down at the 43. First down. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Hey, check back to 34. 
Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. throw to the tight end and he tackles him hard at the 34 that'll make it third and one short yardage situation here it's third and one and he's taken down at about the 25 yard line first down Taken down immediately. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 20. He fights forward to about the 19. That makes us 33. Less than three minutes in the game. Throws in the middle. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Touchdown, Hokies! They just didn't get the snap off in time. Here's the call.
Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Jayhawks and Wildcats in the Sunflower Showdown. This one's been entertaining us all day long. These two teams hate each other. Hate is such a strong word, but it really fits here. And for Holloway, he's into triple digits in receiving yards. The Jayhawks are on top 21-17, early in the fourth quarter. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at 17 here. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws it deep. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 24. Goss is out to the tailback on the screen. Brought down at the 43-yard line. Scrambling around. And now he's going to run. He's tackled at the 42. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. He scrambled, and he's tackled to the 36-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Down. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. to his receiver, first down. Knocked out of around the 24-yard line. First 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Under a minute left. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds around the 14-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. It left side, and he's brought down in the backfield. No game on the play. Third down. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. We're going to overtime. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That makes it second and ten. From the 25-yard line, second down. Got it, and he goes down quickly. Tackle 
tackle after positive yardage. That's good enough to pick up the first down. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 14. Quarterback down. Total loss of seven yards, yards on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and long. long. From the 21 yard line, it's second down. Great execution and a great way to start overtime. Now you put this thing in the hands of your defense. If they step up, you get the win. He makes the PAT. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here's the halfback on the screen. Touchdown! Big play! We'll be tied with the extra point. converts the extra point. Both offenses did well responding to the early pressure of overtime. Now we'll see who can play better defense. From the 25-yard line, first down. And he might want it all here and does. Page is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. First down. From the 13-yard line. First down. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle made at about the 11. Third and eight. Ball on the 11. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. And they make the stop at the 14. Oh, loss of three yards on the play. That brings us to the 11. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. at the 25-yard line. That makes it second and ten. They 
give to the tailback. And down he goes around the 25-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up third and 10. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Go down. Throws, and it's incomplete. Oliver was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and 10. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. And if you haven't had enough yet, we're going to a third overtime. Extra points are no longer allowed, and if anyone scores a touchdown, they'll have to go for two. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. It. He's in space. He's taken down at the 15 yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 15 yard line, it's first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Steps up. Fires out to his receiver. Nothing flashy at all. But now, that first down marker is a lot closer. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. 